Soon, getting back into Elder Scrolls. This time I'm actually going to be on camera. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's not audio missing. I accidentally streamed last stream with only my face camera turned on. There was no gameplay at all. Um, so to summarize last stream, I finished up the Somerset main quest line and then I started working through the, um, the occult side quests, including a murder mystery. Which ended up wank. one of the detectives. But one of the detectives was heavily involved in the murder. There was a couple of murders. The first murder wasn't them, but the others were. But they basically instructed the other person to commit the murder. Other murders. Yeah. Right, I need to rid of the town and the way shrine. Back to you two. Justicia of the work for outsiders. Ah, another. Book is somewhere of an inter isolation.
Welcome to one of So I'm storing everything that's researchable. Probably remove duplicates, but oh well. Can't be bothered figuring that out right now. Might do that off screen before or after dinner. this on the announcement of our wedding gaudy thing he's dead you say mm. just like Durrell to leave me a mess oh what a disaster it will take weeks to get the mats out of well I can't tell anyone he died chasing our dog into the woods can I it's beneath my dignity I'll have one of the servants you see the doe-eyed adoration of that dog that's the look of a creature who loves too much for her own good bless her Durrell was the Fuck you, lady. Okay. I've done all the ones there. That are already in my quest log.
A thousand pardons. <clears throat> Battle Reeve Tanolina requests your presence. At there are eager ears everywhere, so keep your voice low. The situation involves Sea Slowed. The Battle Reeve has been informed that you did. I can tell you that the Battle Reeve sent three adventurers and a squad of marines to determine the extent of the problem. Adventurer? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. The last time I saw him, he was agitated, scared. I asked him what was wrong, but he left without a word. The guards arrived later. They said he turned himself in, that he was involved in a plot to kill our sapiarch. No, he vanished. They say he escaped. Can you believe it? Why would he turn himself in only to escape a few? You have a perfect heart, newcomer. None of my neighbors would lift a finger to help me. The guards placed Arathel in a cell beneath the Kin Lady's manor. I'm told the Justiciar of Remand is there now, a mer named Telerion. He must know something. No, I can't out treat us like family. Arathel as I can't out. Right. You're new to the Isle, I, I apologize. A Praxic Mer, a people who, for whatever reason, were expelled from the greater elven community. Some do, yes. Treatises on class warfare, religious hypocrisy, mm. that sort of thing. A lot of young Mer take a liking to it. I think it's healthy to push back a bit. Not too much, of course, but a bit. Rumor has it that a famous Aprax called... Hold on, I'm just double-checking my mark level. Yep, I'm just using the current mark level. Oh. Nice. Pardon my presumption, but you're the newcomer who saved the Crystal Tower, aren't you? The Mage Kynar and the Red Guard Maria radiated an air of confidence and seemed extremely competent. The orc called Grog, however, appeared to be in a constant state of inebriation. I sent the Marines along to provide additional protection. Without more information, there's no target for our Marines to focus on. Besides, I don't have an army at my disposal right now. The majority of our forces are committed to the continent and the Three Banners War. Frankly, before Razumdar's report, I thought sea loads were just a myth. Since the events at the Crystal Tower, however, I refused. How can the rigor niggle? Most excellent to be seeing you again, my bestest friend. <laughs> it is me, Rigert. The Ebonheart Pact sent me to extend a branch of peace to snooty, rude, and very tall. The Glorious Pact sent Rigor to bargain with Queen Irene. To use my considerable charms to woo High Elves to talk of peace, 
These tall, skinny elves. They have so many rules. Did you know Queen Irene isn't even on Somerset? And to get a... You would help Rigert? That makes my heart dance like young ones at a Mara's Day ball. Speak to Courtier Vindilwin and find out how we get one of these proper high elf introductions. Remember, I brought... Rigert is the best disambassador in all of Skyrim. <laughs> Sometimes I think the Nord Cultural Exchange was created just to take advantage of my talents and inaptitudes. The Three Banners War. Terrible business. I was drinking. If we can get an audience. Uh, Rigert has no idea. What's to tell? Oh, such treasures I brought. Gifts that any Nord would kill for. And many have. <laughs> An excellent treasure. This was King Yorin's prized pet, Badir, known for her bravery. Something every virile man and woman can appreciate. <laughs> this bust of Dibella, god of beauty and erotic instruction, holds a place of... Oh, this one is popular with maidens and matrons who can afford it. The alchemists of Windhelm crafted this expensive... Yeah, they're not gonna like any of that, mate. Appreciate the effort, though. Another distraction. So good to see a fellow Ultima step forward in our time of need. You're here about the contract work, I presume? It's a sad day indeed when the divine prosecution requires outside help. But these are tumultuous times. With the army engaged on foreign shores and so many visitors on our island, our resources are stretched thin. Hence the contract. Each assignment varies in scope, but all assume a certain level of danger. Some can be completed alone, but others will need allies to complete. You'll be asked to dispatch dangerous creatures, investigate suspicious activity. Those sorts of tasks. In accordance with our current regulations, each deputized citizen may accept a single contract from each justicia every day. You are encouraged, of course, to check back regularly for new assignments. Does this kind of work appeal to you? Very well. I hereby authorize you to execute duties on behalf of the... Go speak to Pharaoh. The Divine Prosecution is a division of the Queen's Thalmor, charged with enforcing secular and religious law through Somerset. We investigate corruption and... Justicia Tenoria. Cloud rest destroyed by shadows. Could it be true? You have the look of a traveler. Tell me, have you heard news of Cloud rest, the city within the mountains of Eton Mir? My mother is there. Bad dreams. A great darkness devouring Cloud rest as it filled the streets. My mother's last letter spoke of the Welkinars capturing the sea slowed Zamaj. Yes, I'm afraid I do. Could you travel to Cloud rest? I know a few merchants headed to the city. I'm sure they'd be amenable if you asked for a ride in their cart. And remember, if Cloudrest is... They're battle mages, all four of them. Some of the greatest war... I only know... My advice?
A thousand curses! Oh, noble stranger, would you help Renzir? Karn Wastin has been captured. This one has three trade shipments scattered. Renzir's most pre- This one should- The High Elves do not like to see lesser ships such as this one's humble junker docked at their ports. Therefore, many- Maurmer raids are a constant threat on Somerset's coast, and the Altmer Navy is, shall we say, slow to respond to attacks on foreign ships. Renzir must take all three. He pains these. It all started when we... That, Renzir does not... Undead, perhaps. Something above me.
didn't really need to use that. Sorry, I didn't mean that, mate. I'm gonna do that solar.
Haven't you lot learned by now that I have more than enough magicka to deal with the likes of... Well then, it appears that your mission has thus far been a success. Since you're here, I could use your help. My Grog went off to investigate the undead near the bay. Figured they were the sea slode's handiwork. He didn't account for the smugglers, though. I appreciate the effort. While I may have dealt with a few of these scoundrels, I'm not capable of eliminating an entire army of smugglers. Besides, one of us has to as quietly and efficiently as I possibly can. From what I've been able to observe, the smugglers have entered into some kind of a hunch, I suppose. Alright, no thanks, I'm not really interested.
real close. Ah! Oh, that was so close!
Get out of here. I'm doing better in this public dungeon than I was thinking.
like something's still attacking me. What the hell is it? Looking for someone. Did Renzir send you? Nubani hopes he cared to mention his wife alongside his goods. So he sends you in his stead. How touching. No doubt Renzir first mentioned his shipments. Worth enough for us to... <laughs> a trader. <laughs> if only we could have such a peaceful life. No. The only thing Renzir... Putting an end to this dangerous life. If you dump those smuggled goods into the sea, just one more trip, Renzir tells me. Just one more... T Many times. Loudly, repeatedly. Quickly, dump the shipments overboard. There are dark... Ah, but Nubani and Renzir are so resourceful, yes? The profit from... Magi is no necromancer, yet undead lines these shores.
Someone there? Are you one of those double-dealing smugglers? I'm going to take a chance and assume you're not. How do I... What the tusk do I look like? A blacksmith? Ugh, sorry, sorry, let me consider. Well, the smuggler with the key went... Sure, I'll tell you everything I know. Right after you get me out of these chains. Look, ah. Uh... More intruders! Excellent! You'll be nice additions to my soldiers! You return carrying nothing. And first, Maja steals my crew. Then my only means of survival. Oh, how will this one tell? This was to be our last trip, you know. Then this one could retire. She did? Hardly a re By John and Joad, no. Renzir... Nobody! There you are. Renzir knew you would escape. With no help from her coward husband, of course. Oh, do not say such things, especially on such a day when all has been lost. You honor my humble stable with your exalted presence, auspicious one. Allow
This manor is closed by order of the Divine Prosecution, so I'll keep this... I Sir Abane's ring, will I never be rid of that hen? Look, turning away grieving mothers brings me no satisfaction, but this situation is delicate. The Divine Prosecution does not lose prisoners. Ever. Certainly not frightened children like Arathel. Not here, clearly. You really do mean to track him down, don't you? <laughs> Fine. When we took Arathel into custody, he was only carrying a handful of coin, a tin flute, and some kind of crude map. Our draftsmen drew up a few copies for distribution to the bailiffs. They're stacked upstairs near the hearth. You can... It seems he escaped into the vaulted Halsorio. The sewer. Gods, what a hideous word. Anyway, he had help. That gaping hole in the wall is obviously quite new. Might have been a conventional explosion or some kind of arcane rupture. We won't know until the Revelators examine the scene. So you would ask my name without offering your own? No, no, don't bother. I've grown to expect these clumsy troglodytic introductions. I am Telerian, Justiciar of Ramand. I oversee all matters related to bonds and incarceration here in Shimmerine. now.
This one feels honored to have so Ah, for that one you must go upstairs. The hooded... I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm working. So, jog on. It didn't instruct you to do anything. That note was meant for someone else. Of course, you already know that. Huh. So, Talarian and his lackeys haven't found him either, eh? Color me surprised. Yeah, the mother of rats is our matriarch. She shelters us outcasts and misfits. Loves us, even. In her way. If you aim to help Arathel, she'll want to meet you. Name's Edgar Jend. Professional misfit, ne'er-do-well, and sometimes hatchet man. Mother sends me out to collect lost things. And people. I've got to tell you, this whole Arathel thing, it's giving me indi- Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's a question from- Why the rats? No rats or the grass hill? I'm not going.
Well, well. You made it. You'll forgive me if I don't stand to greet you. I have a thing about social niceties. My spies told me you were coming, but neglected to say why. You're a recent arrival. Ah, Arathel, the reluctant idealist. Yes, I know a bit. He's a friend of ours. I heard he was in a spot of trouble. We had nothing to do with it. That boy has run afoul of some very dangerous people, and they're not about to let him go. Arathel's a valuable commodity down here. He's young, impressionable, and most importantly, he has access to the Sapiarch. Well, he wasn't lying. A rival of mine, Miralon, swept Arathel away from us, lured him in with promises of adventure, convinced him that killing the Sapiarch would start a revolution. Of course, the boy got cold feet. Now they have him. No, but I know someone who does. I sent one of my children to keep an eye. I'm the mother of rats. You know that already. That's fair, I guess. I'm what the Clods and the Kinhouses call an apraxic, an elf criminal. There are other high elf misfits called ousters, but the fortunes of an apraxic are a little more severe. I forged a document. Well, the ensuing dispute sent 43 myrrh to the funeral pyre. It was a patent of lineage, you see. Kinlords take that sort of thing very seriously. Insufferable. Anyway, they shattered my callion, my praxic talisman, and sent me pa for the most foolish reason of all. Love. Hilarious. Well enough. He's young, which is to say he's bullheaded and self-righteous. Good for a laugh, if nothing else. He came looking for relief from the strictness. Fifty years of exile has taught me many, many things. But the most important lesson is this. Anyone is capable of anything. A snot-nosed kin would murder his most beloved dog with a shovel if you gave him a good enough reason. Clearly he didn't, and I thank the fates for that. Arathel wouldn't make it a week as an Aprax. Too much of a people person. It's lucky for us, too. If someone killed the Sapiarch, we'd be blamed. Guaranteed. Just another... Miralon's a recent arrival. He's not an Aprax or an Auster, but he tries to act the part. I've twisted more arms than I can count, trying to find out where he's from, because killing the Sapiarchs will provoke that elusive revolution we're all supposed to be pining for. The Sapiarchs, the Divine Prosecution, of course not. Revolutions are just fairy tales for idiot children. Killing a Sapiarch. what is best for us, kids. He is mad as a sugar-sick frog. Please, you must go. 
Who's this now? One of your friends from Mother's Den? Please, Sanhai, be quick. Zani does not wish to fight you, Walker. But he will if he must. Hmm. If you were a friend to these Black Wake thugs, you would already know. This one will tell you what he found, but you must act quickly. Mirulan plucked Arathel from his cell and brought him here. He means to... He claimed the caverns ahead. But the way is guarded by more Black Wake warriors. And worse. This elf is more than he seems. Mirulon wields magics that Zan He has never seen before. Spells that twist good elves' brains and... Hedani was taken in by the Black Wake's lies. The Mother of Rats sent me to spy on Mirulon. But in truth, I... If Mirulon... I'm gonna use the blade of just then. It's a verb to destroy.
Don't hurt me! Oh, wait, you're not one of them, are you? Sorry, as soon as I saw an opening, I took off running. I didn't even see that drop. Honestly, I'm lucky to be alive. For the moment, at least. My mother is going to kill me. Oh, that's two mothers that will want my head. All right, I'll follow. At a distance. I've had enough excitement for one lifetime. All right, just we're getting the printer ready again. Easy, guardsmen. This boy's under our protection. All of you, quiet! Have a word with our mutual friend, Telerian. If you want the truth, that is. So, it's you. When you didn't return, I assumed you had abandoned your search. What are you doing here? Ah, the oft-used a wizard made me do it defense. It's an excuse I've heard before. Many, many times. Do you have proof, or is this all fanciful conjecture? Seems this Miralon played a role in a much wider conspiracy. Troubling. I will take this to my superiors. As for the boy, he can go free. For now. A word of advice. Avoid these urchins and apraxics. They are nothing but trouble. So, you found our lost sheep. Well done. As you can see, I sent for Arathel's mother. She won't speak to me, of course, but she seems appreciative enough. Perhaps this will be a teachable moment for the both of them. One can hope, I suppose. Difficult to say. The fact that he's been fraternizing with Apraxix won't reflect well on him. But at least you proved he's not a murderer. That's something, right? You've done far more than rescue a stray high elf, Karim. Take this, and my thanks. Take notice, sewer dwellers. I know where you are. Keep your affairs in order, or our next encounter will be far less pleasant. Thank you so much for finding Arathel. Bless you. Oh, I think I might want to be Once an again, you room. have my deep. I don't know what to say.
glue because one of these tusks is not completely secure.
The depravity of Daedric worship is running rampant through our land. Look around! Anyone gathered here could truly be a Daedric I was a tiny little mess. Did I see you with that... that... Nord? You really need to reconsider the company you keep. Hmm. An audience with the proxy queen for a Nord? Hmm. Well, an introduction requires certain documents. A recommendation from the appropriate Sapiarch, for example, as well as an audit from the Divine Prosecution. And perhaps a small favor for me. A crude yet accurate analogy. Get Sapiarch Tandeman to provide a recommendation. And just to see our Olimdel to give Rigat a legal writ validating his credentials. Then, as a favor to me, acquire a pair of tickets to Thespian Enigma's next performance. <sighs> More. You newcomers just seem to want and want and want. Oh, very well. Which of these very necessary items? Tandenman is the sapiarch of foreign observations. He's Somerset's leading expert on the cultures that aren't Altmer. He's excited about the Queen's decree, as he finally gets to meet outsiders face to face. You can find him here in Alinor. You'll have to ask the sapiarch. Perform a favor of some sort, I suppose. Nothing too outrageous. Probably he'll want some help interviewing the mass of newcomers flocking to our shores. Now, if there's nothing else... Rolamdell serves as an officer of the Divine Prosecution, enforcing both secular and religious law. He'll provide a legal writ that confirms Rigget's diplomatic credentials. For a small favor, of course. You can find him in Lilandril. The favors are the currents. Ah, oh, the beautiful and mysterious enigma. I am a true admirer of her work. The thespian might be the house of referee's best. I certainly think so. And so do a lot of others, based on the scarcity of tickets. I expect you can find her in Relenthiel. That's for you to solve. If Rigget actually wants to see the proxy queen, that is. Dealing with Enigma shouldn't be much different from dealing with the others. She is a high elf, after all. Favors go a long way, even at the House of Reveries. Rolamdell serves as an officer of the Divine Prosecution. Hit wrong button then.
I hope you aren't here about anything important. My schedule is completely full. I couldn't possibly squeeze you in before the mid-year mud crab festival. No, I'm not. A recommendation? I'll have you know that I don't just throw those together in a slapdash fashion. A recommendation must be researched and carefully considered. I can't be too cautious when it comes to endorsing new arrivals. Vindilween? Why didn't you say so? If you can acquire items of cultural significance from the newcomers, say, something from a Kaji to Breton and an Argonian, I might be persuaded to write a recommendation for Ambassador Rigert. As a matter of fact, I do. The Khajiit's name is Urjara. Exotic, don't you think? Henri Ondare is the Breton, and the Argodian calls herself Grayscale. Bring me something that belongs to them and reflects their cultures, and then we can talk. I really need to get some modeling choices. Not now, friend. I haven't been able to see. Are you now? Well, I'm trying to find a job. Looks like we're both going to be disappointed. On the. Does this one regret leaving elsewhere and making the journey to Somerset? No. For Joan and Jode watch over me and bless me with health and good fortune. How can Ordra help you, friend? This one brought a few heirlooms with her, whatever could be stuffed in my carry sack. Ordra has a Khajiit navigation stone, for example. Let's me find my way even in this strange land. I couldn't part with it, though. It has... The Sapiarch! Why didn't you say it was for the Sapiarch? Of course, Ordura will let you have this beautiful Khajiit item of cultural significance. As long as it's for the Sapiarch. Please let him know that this one was happy to comply. I'm not sure what I expected when I decided to journey to Somerset, but it sure wasn't this. No rest for the weary, and always more work to do. Forgive my lack of manners. Is there something you need? Really? Well, I didn't bring much with me, just my recipes. In fact, I just made a bowl of Ojisaka for races the moves. He hasn't tasted it since he left Merkmire. Mentioned he had a craving. I was about to take it to him in that sack. Not now. Are you now? It will indeed. It... Courtier Vindilwin was kind enough to tell me who she sent you to perform favors for. I've been sitting here drinking and having a most pleasant conversation with Sapiark Tandemen. Were you able to acquire the items of cultural significance he requested? You did? <laughs> that is most excellent, my good friend. But Rigert has an even better idea. We should also give the Sapiarch one of my gifts. Nothing says culture like a Nord keepsake. But which one do you think he would like best? Uh. 
Interesting. The Night Favor depicts a beloved Nord God. It is solid and will last forever. And it might help the Sapiarch if he ever finds a sweet onion. <laughs> Something else? I'm not only the Sapiarch of foreign observations, I'm also the foremost collector of artifacts from the lesser races. Thanks to the Queen's decree, I'm finally getting an opportunity. Courtier Vindilwin. You did? <laughs> Interesting. The night fame. Hmm. While the stuffed goat has sentimental value, it doesn't quite strike me as the perfect Nord cultural g Interesting. Hmm. I think this APR would like an item with more permanence, unless he has a sweet onion. Interest. Friends, Sapiar, here are the cultural items you asked for, along with a gift from Rigert. A Nord night favor. <laughs> That's everything I wanted, plus an arousing example of Nord erotica. <laughs> Thank you. Here is the official letter of recommendation you requested. Hmm. You actually like the statue. That's good. You almost liked it too much. Honestly, I think she plans to do something rash. She might even attack the guards. Sometimes I wish the criminals and lawbreakers would take a holiday. Then the officers of the Divine Prosecution could catch up on our paperwork. Is there something you need, newcomer? Figured it. Oh, it's something. Mega the boar's tusk is missing because they broke off. A, a writ of authenticity for a Nord ambassador? That's a highly unusual request, considering that a newcomer is the one making it. The divine prosecution requires weeks, sometimes even. Vindilween. She loves to engage in the commerce of favors. Very well. A cup and bowl were stolen from the Alanor Palace. Favorites of the Queen, I'm told. Recover these items, and I might be persuaded. Ideas? Plenty. Proof? Nothing that would hold up in a court of law. Not yet, anyway. But I'm more concerned with recovering. What do you want?
looking for me with that and the escape. This place is awesome on top of there. When Dilwyn told me where she sent you, I've been having the most interesting conversation with this divine prosecution person here. Did you know the tall elves have at least three rules for every possibility? Oh, Rigert is so happy he could kiss you! <laughs> the last time I did that, though, hmm, the Justicia doesn't... Interesting. The stuffed goat represents stoic bravery, and she never breaks any rules. <laughs> I mean, how could she? She's dead. <laughs> anyway, she... The Nord Cultural Exchange proudly returns the Queen's stolen items. And this stuffed goat, it's a Nord treasure. Remarkable work. I'll grant you that writ of authenticity now. A word of advice. If Vindilwin refuses to help, remind her that the Divine Persecution might remember the incident at the Battle Reeves dinner party. Hey, caught a rat. Good boy.
Oh shit, I'm dead. Insult? How benign. And what do you want? Can't you see I'm trying to rehearse? You need tickets, do you? Well, so does the Sapiarch of Shimmerine, the Navy's High Battle Reem, and the Proxy Queen of Eleanor. Do you know what I need? I need to figure out how to play Hildegrom. Ambassador Rigert? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Cartier Vendilwin told me who she sent you to talk to, and Rigert always wanted to meet a famous high elf thespian, Lady Enigma. Greetings and sanitations from the Nord Cultural Ex Hildegrom. She's my favorite hero. I'm sure that one of my Nord gifts will inspire Enigma and help her find the Essence of Mammoth, of course! Not only will it make Enigma smell like a proper Nord battle maiden, it will also make her irresistible to... Rigert has just the thing to make Enigma feel like a Nord. <laughs> Essence of Mammoth. What a powerful odor! It reminds me of mammoths charging across fields of ice and snow. You smell like a proper Nord battle maiden now. The stench! It makes me woozy, but also fills me with Nord bravado. How inspiring! Milk drinker! That's it! That's the voice! You've earned these tickets, Ambassador Rigert. Nice. Which one could he possibly be? Ring passes? I have said, the Proxy Queen is unable to hold an audience with petitions at this time. There are other affairs that require her. I 
honestly never expected to see either you or Ambassador Rigat again. Can I ask? So I see. I'll just file the documents away for later review and slip those tickets in to my bodice for safe. You're lucky I'm entertaining the Nord's request at all. Take the appointment and be grateful for this time with the Proxy Queen. I know newcomers who would kill for... Rigard is so disappointed. How can I negotiate peace if I can't even get an audience with the High Elf Proxy Queen? Of course. Threaten the snooty <laughs> High Elf with a scandal. High Elves hate scandals, snooty or otherwise. Watch out, Rigard. Again? He did what? How dare he? <laughs> Why, I have a mind to... No. No. I see how it is. Very well. Tell the ambassador I'm impressed by his ruthless use of rumor and innuendo. What happened? Did the threatening words do the trick? She did? Uh, I mean, of course she did. <laughs> Rigor had it. Proxy yeah. Queen Eleanor Way, may I present the Nord Ambassador, Rigor the Brash? Pleased to be seeing your beautiful face, Your Majesty. Sign the treaty, and we can break for dinner. Unless you want to be negotiating first. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Ambassador. I'll listen to what you have to say, and we'll see where the evening takes us. As long as the evening includes lots of mead, that sounds fine to me. Ambassador, I find your Nordish inclinations to be most refreshing. Oh, Rigert has plenty of inclinations, <laughs> Your Majesty. We look forward to finding out all about your inclinations, Ambassador Brigard. Come along. The royal chef makes a rabbit meatball pie that you'll absolutely devour. I think that went a little too well.
Lotus? Lotus? Where are you? You've picked a bad day for a stroll in the park. Something's got into the animals. They're running wild, frenzied. I don't suppose you saw an Indrik on your way here, a tame one? She's my charge, and pride of the Queen's Menagerie. I need to find her. The Royal Menagerie. It holds exotic species from all over Tamriel. Now they're running loose, attacking the Keepers and each other. It's a slaughter. It's too... Oh, Lotus has only ever known kindness. Gentle as a lamb. I hand-reared her from birth. She fled in the chaos, but she won't make... This is the only place she's ever known. She won't have wandered far. I hope. I wasn't at the epicenter of it all. I was about to feed Lotus when I started hearing the animals in a frenzy, yowling and slamming against their pens. Once the mammoths broke free, the whole place came apart at the scenes. Total pandemonium. Indrix vaguely resembled deer, but you'd never mistake the two. Their horns and antlers sparkle like crystal, and their fronds and feathers are vibrant in any light. I raised her from a fawn, watched her grow up. I can't imagine losing her. A gift from the sovereign to his daughter when she was barely knee-high. Before she became queen, her highness spent many a day frolicking through the royal menagerie with Lotus. Hard to imagine now. I, know. I didn't see anyone else coming. Find something? I don't see any new tracks. She didn't try returning to the enclosure. Huh. Let me see that. Smells... off. I've never seen an animal react so violently to spoiled food, and nothing this tainted would have passed our inspections. I think something was added. Probably close to feeding time. No, it couldn't be. We care for these animals like they were our kin. No one I know would harm one of these poor... No, thank the gods. I just deposited it here when the trouble started. I don't think she'd graze on any now that it's become foul. But I'd rather not risk it. I believe she ran off that way before we lost track of her. Indians sometimes graze on these trees. Look around and let me know if you find anything. What did you find there? I don't see any sign of her here. Did you find... Stars! I've seen wild mammoths charge the enclosure walls, but they usually give up pretty quickly. I've never seen one... That would be an explanation, but it came on so suddenly. It seemed to afflict all the animals at once. Except Lotus. She was spooked, but not aggressive. I got rabies or prion disease. Huh? <laughs> 
Thought I was a goner. Those lions crept up on me while I was distracted. Thought I was done for. Who are you, anyway? He came back to find Lotus? I know he takes his duty seriously, but that's insane. I think I saw her drinking by the reflecting pool, but she's skittish. Bolted the second she saw me. Uh, no thanks. I appreciate the help, but I'm not sticking around to herd Indrix in this mess. Good luck with your Indrix hunt, Talamar. Try not to get killed. Elise, wait! We need to stay together! Damn it. Let's hope we have better luck with Lotus. Perhaps she doesn't get killed either. So, you managed to teach it some discipline after all. The Royal Menagerie is closed to the public at the moment. His, Indrik? You mean the Royal Family's, Indrik? Every animal here is... She'll be secured in the inner paddocks until order is restored. This act of sabotage will not be easy to recover from. Hmm. I believe you. Whoever drugged today's feed supply knew too much. Talamar, take your new friend here and get off my grounds. The rangers will take things from here. But, but Lotus... I... Yes, Conservator. I thought that was a rat feeding on the line for a second. Sorry about all this. I just want you to know that even if Conservator Vina Laura, she's the appointed curator of the Royal Menagerie. All the keepers and rangers serve at her pleasure. I wouldn't take it personally. If she really believes a keeper is responsible for sabotaging the menagerie, I can't say I blame her. Gods, no! I've worked with everyone here for decades. I just hope Vina Laura catches the monster. Thank you again for helping me keep loaded. Over here. We need to Elise? talk. I thought you had already left. What are you doing sulking around here? I, mean, I don't want to get you too involved, but I need help and there's no one else I can turn to. I was the one who drugged the animals. The plan wasn't for them to break loose, just stir up a fuss so I could slip into the conservatory unnoticed. Evidence. The menagerie is a facade. The ugly truth behind Silvarwode isn't so pretty. There are entire sections blocked off from most of the keepers. Vinalora and people who question Vinalora don't last here. If she claims the animal is a risk of some kind, it's just quarantined in the inner paddock, never to be seen again. Something terrible is going on, and I'm it's going to take a lot more convincing for I'm a spy for the queen. I mean, I was a keeper first. But when the queen asks you to serve, you serve. She to her, I'm just some uppity nebara trying to rise above my station. But once it became clear, I wasn't... Hey, we can't all be slick and daring Khajiit of mystery. <laughs> all I know is, healthy animals are... I'm a spa. To her, I'm just some uppity... Yeah, I'm not going to let the queen down. I don't know. More than anything. She poisoned all these animals. She almost poisoned Lotus. And for what? 
It's true that I've never seen an animal move to the inner paddocks that's returned to outer enclosures, but she's suggesting what? I mean, this is a crisis. Lotus is the prize of the menagerie. She wouldn't... This is insane. It's a bit morbid, but I would search the bodies by the staff quarters near the... All right, Elise, I'll help you. But if we don't find anything unusual in the conservatory, I'm turning you over to Vinalora myself. Deal. If I'm crazy, go ahead and turn me in. But you know there is something going on here. Did you find the keys? I'm feeling exposed out here. Here. Oh, they're eating them. I knew they were up to something here. It smells awful. Alchemical. Oh, this equipment isn't incriminating enough on its own, though. Vinalora could justify it for medicinal samples, records, a test subject. Anything that proves without a doubt that the animals here are being. I really do multiple things. Creatures. Let's find out what Vinalora was doing with them. What are you reading over there? Huh. You found something important. Vinalora, you piece of... This is... I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But this should be all I need. 
Where did Talamar wander off to? Medical something. Disobedience doesn't suit you, Talamar. Uncooperative animals don't last long here. What have you done with Lotus, you monster? I'd be more concerned for yourself right now. Try something rash, and Talamar will sprout and... They're a very special beast. Revered, even. As blessed beings who are as graced by the gods as we Ultima. They are a gift to our... Maintaining our natural primacy. What else? The mongrels of Tamriel infest everything. Even our unspoiled isles now. But their overgrowth can be curbed. They only need a natural predator. The... You're in no position to stop me. This includes... No! The wards! The Indrix will run wild! Elise! I should have known you'd be behind this! Good luck containing your experiments. We'll give your regards to the Queen. This isn't over, mongrel! You'll all pay for Damn, Venalora! It should be me. I'm the closest to family she has. I... thank you. Vinalora must have been more shaken than she looked. She didn't hit anything vital, far as I can tell. You can't be serious. There's nothing stopping Lotus from escaping on her own now. We've got what we need to bring Vinalora down. He's lucky to have found someone as... Hang on, Talamar. We'll get you out of here. The latest serum performs in live tests. Let's find out. She's mad! Run while you can! Oh. Oriel! Lead me from this forsaken place! She's all right. Thank you, Jeff. Oh, thank you. Damn it, Talamar. You're going to reopen that wound. <laughs> it's so good to see Lotus alive and well. I couldn't stop thinking of her scared and injured, or, or worse. If Vinalora had turned her into some kind of monster, I swear. Gods, that's terrible. I won't shed tears over Vinalora. She had to be stopped. But I'm so sorry you have... With the Conservator gone, there's no one in charge of trying to get this place back in order. Me? Run the Menagerie? I'd love to see it put back the way I remember it. But will it ever be the same now that I... Yes. I know myself well enough to know I would be miserable just abandoning this place. I've... These animals deserve... Don't suppose I could... I'll take Lotus and try to find other survivors who escaped the chaos. Convincing them to return won't be easy, but I'm certain I can get at least a few other Keepers and Rangers to follow my lead. She's gone, and their operation is in shambles. Wild Indrix are aggressive towards things they perceive as threats. Even if Vinalora hadn't given them her vile... It is said that when Indrix die, their souls don't leave Mundus. Instead, Jeffra plants them back into the land to sprout again as reborn fawns. If it's true, 
You think they remember their old lives? I like to believe Lotus will remember them. Then I do hope they forgive her. She endangered every living thing here with the stunt she pulled. It'll be days before we... That's what makes it hard. Everything worked out. I was going to recommend... I'll head to Alinor to present my findings to the proxy queen and send a letter to Queen Irene. I know. If it... I suppose I do owe him for the mess... Hey. Finally, the courier. I expected you out. Oh, well, I can hardly keep track of every face I hire. An artist's work is endless. I need colors. Rich, rare, vibrant. After all, reagents, ingredients, naturally, of course. I require that you gather the supplies needed to make... I really do need you to hurry along. Inspiration could strike me at any moment. Oh, of course, you're a fan. Well, I'm not surprised my popular... From what I gather, Somerset views its artist... Oh, no, no. Being a renowned artist is a station all its own. I'm known for... Hamelin's dye produces the most gorgeous teal you'll ever see. The Yokudan tea I've given you should be a good enough trade. Brodron's bug carcasses create greys with flashes of silver. He's already received payment, so... The Orealis. Oh, such a glowing orange it produces. Beautiful enough to bring tears to your... Hard at work, Tintoria? How goes your finger painting? Ah, Verilel. I see you deign to step out of your florid abode. Come to see how a real artist creates. I'd enlighten you with a response, but we both know my skill speaks for itself. Why, you're certainly skilled at boasting. If only you had the artistic sense Oriel gave a mud harper, you might produce something of worth. <laughs> You'll often find artists along the docks. In my opinion, ocean paintings tend to be a tad trite. But then again... Invitation to dinner. What a kind offer. Though I'm sure that won't be necessary. After all, we both know that I'll be the one to acquire that position. <laughs> Ah, another newcomer. What keen ears you have. You heard us discussing a private matter from way over there. Impressive. A member of the Mages Guild murdered a Sapiarch. But now the murderer's friend is railing against the conviction. Loudly.
If you've come to rob me, I'm afraid I... Healthy paranoia, I suppose. There's plenty of... Oh, it's been a long time since my former student has contacted me. And now she makes such demands. How... This is... Your good and blue tea? I thought it lost forever. The last shipment was said to have sunk to the bottom of the abyss. Yes, back when I had the inclination to bother with such upstarts. I thought that would be my legacy. The life of a Somerset artist is not easy. It's not enough to be merely great. You have to be better. Both Tindoria and Vera L wilted under that pressure. Their rivalry seemed harmless at first, even friendly. Just something to keep them motivated. But and now they've both grown bitter and endlessly jealous of the other's success. They believe Somerset only has room for one great artist. Such foolishness.
Hey there, careful where you step. Uh, my livestock is having the dinner, and I won't have some bumbler stomping all over them. I've got enough trouble with their mating woes. Hmm, these bugs happen to be the most desirable olive lint to crawl upon Somerset. When ground up, my beauties make the most brilliant shade of grey you ever did see. Why, I even got the artist in Doria as a client. Oh, well, I did. Uh, what a shame. I always took her for one of the good ones. Never tried to cheat me or say I wasn't welcome. Always complimented my beauties when she visited. The ideal customer every time. To think that she would go so far as to sabotage my livestock. Because it turns out she's just like every other high elf on this island. I refused to sell my carapaces to her exclusively, and this is what happens. Verilel was just heartbroken when I had to turn him away. Yes, and he had quite a bit to say about Team Doria. He told me just last week she was complaining about my services. And I heard this wouldn't be the first time she's done something shady. Why, Ifra, to think I was so blind. Be right back when I go make a cuppa. Hey, coffee.
Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Bit of the liquid came out and got on my hand. Fuck out the heart. What the hell do you think you're doing, you little shits? Me, you. Alvalin Beetle. Alvalin. Alvalin. Wait, wait, don't hurt me. This wasn't my idea, honest. I just did what I was. Oh, I don't know. Uh, some sort of pheromone? It makes his. Not This wasn't my... Ooh, I... What? No, a fellow named Verilel. Nasty perfume full of himself, typical artist. He paid me to sabotage this farm. Not quite sure why, but... Well, uh, I think it's about time I leave. No need to... That's it. This is the last time I get caught up in artist rivalries. I trust your search was as fruitless as mine? He did? Well, honestly, I would love to believe that. Team Doria's support was the only thing I had going for my business for a long while. But what would Verilel have to gain from all this? That's true. Team Doria and Verilel have been rivals for as long as they've been artists. I even let that bastard convince me Team Doria was the one who did it. Ah, oh, these artists and their rivalries. It's always us little people who are made to suffer. Here, take the last of my stock. I'm sorry I ever took the word of that perfume pansy over Team Doria. Just glad I'm able to get her this shipment. Okay, this lid sounds like a massive thing. Things were done for us, but he seems like an absolute asshole.
reach the hilltop. I'm below it. I mean, I'm above it. Oh, what's this do? Another one? You there! Come here! Yo. I bet you've come here for an Orealis Bloom. Well, tough luck. Fresh out. Last one was nabbed a fortnight ago. Come, why else would you come here? The view? You know, once you could get an Orealis anywhere. Now it's all but gone. Blotted out of existence by the greed of artists. You heard me. As soon as they learned it made a pretty paint, that was it. Didn't care that it takes over a year to grow, and that's only with proper care. No, they had to have it. And so they took and took, and now there's nothing left. What are you, deaf? Or just scared to go back empty handed? Look, I told you that plan. Hey there, leave that alone. Please, leave that Orealis alone. You can't take it. What is wrong with you? Why? Of course I did. Why would I let you have one of the last, if not the last, surviving blooms? If you take that plant, the species may be wiped out for good. Did? Yes! That's what I've been saying all along. You're about to uproot what could be the last Orealis on Somerset and gr You really want to take the chance? I'm telling you, I've searched all over this island. This is the only one I could find in less than a year. Finally, someone who sees reason. Thank the stars. And thank you too, kind traveler. After the last visitor, I was just about ready to give up. Yes, Verilel, the blasted artist who took the last Orealis bloom I cultivated. He's either a massive dick, or he's actually trying to be nice. And he's getting them for her. Better. Hold, Courier. How do you want? You know, I've heard quite a bit about your little venture to acquire Tindoria's supplies for her latest sketch, and I must say, I'm impressed. You've said... Well, I could speak to how those supplies would be used in the service of art that touches the soul of man and man. But I feel my words would not move you, so let's try another venue, shall we? Me do such a thing? As I told... Then someone she paid to incriminate me, no doubt. This... Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Such wonderful colors wasted on such a forgettable piece. I am a purveyor of the divine, my friend. Cannot blame. I should kick you into the fucking harbor. At last you return, and with my reagent! Complication? <laughs> a fine way to refer to Veyralel. Oh, don't look so surprised. I can still smell that in... Extinct? How could such a common plant go extinct? Just last week I saw some. Oh, wait a moment, was that last month? Last year? Oh, oh that scoundrel! Brodrin is a good myrrh, and he loves those bugs like his own children. This is intolerable news. How will I do without my sea gray? No, I cannot allow this. I oh, wonderful! I hope she'd like it. I do wish she'd return to the city instead of living in that backwater swamp. Though perhaps something good can... And here is your payment, as contracted. I am pleased you chose to honor our arrangement instead of siding with that scoundrel. Oh, I see it now. You... Your visage upon my canvas shall be viewed for centuries. Oh, just a quick sketch then, to capture your... Nice.
Let's get this. Get out of him. Get out of him. Stay strong, Emil. I'll get you out of this. Secure the prisoner in the Fighters Guild. Off you go. You! You're a member of the Mages Guild, aren't you? Yep. Please, you have to help me. The Sapiarchs accused one of our compatriots, my best friend, of a murder he didn't commit. They won't even consider another Sapiarch named Haladon. Emil arrived at the gates of Lilandril, carrying Haladon's body, and confessed to the crime. But he seemed... shocked. Confused. I know Emil better than anyone. He's not capable of something like this. I swear it. He's a pacifist for Mara's sake! The Sapiarch's investigation was a joke. They just took Emil at his word and handed down the sentence. Of course, the local guild magister rolled over like she always does. Coward. Please, I need your help. The Sapiarch say Emil confessed to murdering Haladon, but he'd never murder anyone. He loved Haladon. I don't know if he's confused or disoriented, but I do know he wouldn't do it. Please, talk. Emil and I are both members of the Mages Guild chapter here in Lalandril, and students of the Guild's chief dip. I don't know if he'll listen to an ord to the Sapiarchs stepping in. He and Emil were very close. If you'd asked me before all this happened, I'd have wagered that one or the other was shopping for a Ring of Mara. They had common interests, but more than that, they had common values. Restoration magic, wards against disease and curses, that sort of thing. They'd been researching ways to prevent lycanthropy, vampirism, and other... Absolutely not. An order of high... Hey. The Somerset Isles are abuzz with the name of a lost. I'm... I don't have anything to say to you or anyone else. Please. Yes. She's wrong. What? No, no. They already did an investigation. I murdered Haladon. It was me. Why are you inserting your... You there. Why are you interrogating Emil? I am Kalawende, chief diplomat of the Mages Guild. I apologize for my tone. This has been a trying time. The Sapiarchs consider this matter closed, you know. What are you doing exactly? Who sent you? Our interests may align. Vivine. Look, I've uncovered something odd as well. The Sapiarchs have made it very difficult for me to intervene directly. Perhaps you can help. Emil met a shady mer- That's what I came here to find out. But it seems Emil doesn't want to talk. Galador has deep connections to Lilandril smugglers and thieves. If you learn what Emil purchased from Galador, we might gain some insight into Haladan's murder. Galador stores his business ledger in one of the inn's larger suites. Unfortunately, he placed a hex on the book, making it impossible to read without a passphrase. If you discover the passphrase, you should be able to learn what Emil purchased. My contacts tell me that Galador left the city on business. Goodness knows what kind. No one will accost you while you investigate. Just be careful. It cannot become known the Mage's Guild is investigating this matter after the Sapiarchs forbid it. She is tenacious. She often volunteers to help others. You won't find a more zealous advocate for the Mage's Guild's goals and mission. Hmm. In my experience, people use talent 
as an excuse for idleness and lack of effort. Emile and Vivine both enjoy great natural... Truthfully? Oh, I'd love to. But as a diplomat, I don't have that luxury. The Sapiarchs consider the matter settled, and officially our mages guilt. It's exacerbated tensions that already exist. You're a high elf. Yep. You know how stodgy and inflexible our people can be. The Sapiarchs see this murder as evidence of guild negligence. Yes, the guard who found Emile, Milleron. The Sapiarchs classified him as a Ryazen, a critical witness. Anyone with close ties to Emile is forbidden to speak with him. But not... sprung up like fungus from grime. Lives may be short and lacking in hope, but can I give ever ending hope? Something to get about this simple thing that can kill you sleep best not to ring. Go when the town to the tune drum sound. You'll learn what the fuck God drops. Blood and syringes. Like, why would the blood be beneficial? Psst, over here. I trust you were successful. My own inquiries were fruitful. Honestly, what would Emil want with sheep's blood? And syringes? I'd suspect blood magic or chemical addiction if I didn't know Emil. Neither of those items. I'll try to figure out what Emil wanted with these items. Meanwhile, I found the guard who arrested Emil, Millerant. Welcome to Lalandril. Just off the boat. Lots of sailors coming and going. Just sad business that. I was at my post when I saw a meal with a body slung over his shoulder. Once he reached the gate, he slid Halidan's corpse onto the ground and collapsed. He just knelt there sobbing, saying, I killed him over and over. He didn't seem mad, if that's what you're asking. But he wasn't lucid, either. 
When it comes to murderers, I've met I think more than my friends. Maybe he got him so killed, but he didn't kill him Emil's himself. No murderer. He might have killed Haladon, but it wasn't on purpose. I... Look, you need to promise me you'll keep this to yourself. Salt Priest Cave is just south of here. Well-worn entrance, wizard's tools scattered about. I tried to tell the Sapiarchs about it, but... Your answers are in that cave. Guaranteed. This business with Emil was just too odd. Once the Sapiarchs convicted him, I had to find the truth of it. I took my coursing hound, Othalus, down to the gate and had him follow Holodon's blood trail. It led right to the mouth of that... Uh, no, Salt Breeze has us. Of course they did. They'd already declared Emil guilty of the murder. Can't lose face over something like this. You got a confession, Milleron? Just let it go. Humph. <laughs> They're just anxious to be done with this whole affair. Hopefully they're not framing him. That's the other thing. Haladan looked like he'd been thrown off a cliff. Legs broken, blood leaking out of his ears, collapsed ribcage. You tell me how a wiry Breton could do that to someone. Doesn't make a wit of... Unless he can conjure up a stone club the size of an ox yoke, I just can't imagine it. Excuse me. Ah, oh, hello. Almost attack those blokes again. Been, 
I must have been trying to kill them. Is he all right? Auriel, forgive me. Please listen carefully. Emile did not murder Haladon. I swear it. The two of them only sought to help me. I suffered from a mysterious affliction. Haladon and Emile infected me with vampirism to halt the disease's progress. Gods, no! I came here with my companion Gerwadel. By the time we arrived, her illness was terminal. Emile tried to administer the cure to her too, but she broke free and attacked Haladon. There was so stone abominations, vampiric alchemy. If the Sapiarchs found out that Haladon had a hand in this tragedy, they would strike his name from the histories. Absolutely. Haladon and Emile loved each other. I don't think you understand the Sapiarchs. It wouldn't be a simple matter of not praying over Haladon's grave. They would expunge his memory entirely. Every discovery he made, every scholarly paper, ev Undoubtedly. The same. I believe so. The fog is gone. The flop sweats in sleepless nights with dreams of blood and stone. But the cost was high. Yes. I can feel it creeping up the back of my throat. That thirst. It was just a tickle at first. Now, who knows how... Never. Enough people have suffered on my account. Anyway, how would I find them? The shale skin disease claimed my sight before Emil had the chance to administer the treat. My new condition does have a few benefits. My senses are keener now than they've ever been. I... They called it osteocratic fever. A rare virus that hardens the skin like stone and oyster shell. Stone skin. And as if that well, grayscale in um, so drives you insane. Grayscale in freaking. Gerwadel had already succumbed Game to the madness when she attacked Haladon. We were part of a merchant fleet that got blown off course, wound up truthfully because he was the kind. Prove Emile's innocence. I'll find my way. Somehow.
Oh, I'm just gonna do something real quick. What do you want? You again? I told you, I don't want to talk about this. What? No, no, you're mistaken. No, 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 no. You can't believe her. She's, um, she's lying. I attacked Haladon. I... No. Please, you must burn. There's nothing to consider. Even if I didn't kill Haladon, the vampirism was my idea. He never would have agreed to it if... Curse you. Do you think I want freedom? I want Nora Saya to be... You have new evidence to present? Very well. This handwriting... Yes, I'd recognize Haladan's penmanship anywhere. Had he only spoken to us? Do you see now? The bitter fruits of heedless magic? This is what happens when you turn away... Emil is free to leave our island. Permanently. The Sapiarchs and the Mage's Guild clearly have a long way to go before we can rely upon each other. I will sign Emil's release paper. We will scrub it clean. The Sapiarchs cannot allow the works of a heedless fool to sully our shelves. Halada, we will hunt her down and destroy her. This brings me no pleasure. Fuck you. Fucking idiot. I didn't think you'd be that stupid. I made the wrong decision there. Well, I'd still rather that dude be free than in prison.
Hmm, a traveler. Don't see many wanderers out here near the Acropolis. Best you... Ah, I see it, that look in your eye. You mean to go in there and break the curse of the Dereni Acropolis? Some folks say she was an innocent girl, buried alive by an evil sister. Others say she was a necromancer. So, you're really going to look into this, yes? If as bones, if you adventurers aren't a peculiar bunch. I've got no orders to keep you out. Not many grave robbers dumb enough to loot this place. No, I often ask myself the same question. Should have followed my mother's advice and learned a trade. Cobbling, maybe. I would have been a fine. Honestly, I have no idea. So far, we haven't seen any skeletons or ghoulies straying beyond the walls. But anything's possible, I guess. Just know that we'll be here... You are yanking my ear, right? Everyone knows the Dereni. They're one of the oldest, most powerful clans in Aldmeric history. They founded the Dereni hegemony in High Rock back in the First Era. Not many Dereni. Good question. Mara knows I'd never settled in that man-infested sty. I don't know how you manage. Honestly, I really couldn't say why the Dereni left. Indeed. It's an ancient, weather-worn island in Iliac Bay. What, cursed? For as long as anyone can rem- Now? Now- Okay, let's go! Then back to a crisp. The seal, the key, take them. We must keep her locked away. Do not let her escape. Right, so the necromancer. Or a lick. I mean, necromancers become liches typically. But you get the idea.
keeper? No. No, an intruder. Did you not hear the shrieks? The... Who am I? I was called L'Oreal. But in truth, I am sorrow given voice. Agony given form. A prisoner confined to this cold. I haven't the heart to speak it aloud. I can only bear the pain through song. Even now, all... You carried the Keeper's golden seal. There is another. A crimson seal. It is close. I sense its presence like a whispered accusation. My jailers. Sons and daughters of the Dereni swore. Did you not hear me? The sorrow robs me of my breath. I can only bear to tell you. Yeah, summed up. sail, but the younger remained, alone with her tomes and her heartache.
gates of the Dirani, a fellow traveler on sorrow's road with dark wisdom on his lips. Behold, the Crimson Keeper! Keep to the oath, Seal Bearer! Do not believe her lies! She is not what she seems!
Don't listen. Her words are poison. Her heart is twisted. She deserves this fate. All her heart's doors closed and locked. The sister's power grew. Her gold eyes fixed on graves and tombs. The necromancer's muse. At length the eldest did return. Found me at last. Do you see? You see my prison now. This the keepers marked my body with runes of restraint before they locked me in the tomb. After I expired, my soul tried to escape, but even now, centuries later, I am tethered to that husk. If you would you ask a caged meadowlark what it would do? It would fly free, feel the sun on its wings, and sing its forgotten songs. It would find the joy that it had long been denied. Revenge upon whom? The elves that locked me away are long dead. Dead and gone. Only their tombs remain. Their tombs... ...and their descendants. It's as I said in my song. My sister and I were inseparable. Different sides of a single coin, my uncle used to say. Eventually, she set out to study with the Magisters on the Isle of Balfiera. I was left here. Alone. I struggled with my craft, falling further and further behind. Eventually, I found a mentor. A black-clad sorcerer who taught me the dark arts. Necromancy. I took to it like a sparrow to the wind. Eventually, my power rivaled that of my sister. Yes. She found my mentor and I weaving spells over the corpses of our ancestors. She struck my mentor dead with a killing word, then wrapped me in searing chains. My sister wept when our kin rendered the sentence, that I would be buried alive. No, she carried out the sentence herself. Her face was the last thing I saw before they closed the lid. The Dureni feared what I would become if they executed me outright. So they constructed this arcane prison, this torture chamber. She did what she was expected. I... I would return to that coffin. 
I would go back to screaming in silent horror, gazing up at the ancient scratches on the coffin lid where I tore my fingernails to pieces trying to get out. Forever. We arrive at the moment of choice. Yes! Finally! I feel the chain slipping from my shoulders. My spirit is free! Free to go wherever I wish. Oh, you have done quite a deed. Your kindness will not be forgotten. Oh, squandered. I'm sure you have many questions. I'm sorry I cannot stay to answer them. I have much to do. So much to do. Farewell. Your filling out was not the right decision.
What is it? Ah, you're back. Oh, sorry. Uh, look, I don't know how you do things, wherever... By the... What was that? Where is it going? North, looks like. Out to sea. Towards Barbiera. <gasps> Strange. I shouldn't have been going the wrong way the whole time.
Alright, I'm gonna leave it there until after dinner. Watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If watching on Twitch, please consider following. For watching on YouTube and to check out the Twitch stream live, link will be in the description below, or you can check me out at twitch.tv slash 1s96. Sorry, I'm getting a bit sleepy, or oh, um, I should be back on after dinner if I'm not too tired. Yeah. Next time. See you later.